everyone, this is Mike from The Gamer Show with... Another Real Gamer. And here we are, sitting with Minecraft Feed the Beast, um, and we're on episode 10. We made it! 10 episodes! Woo! So, right now, uh, we just built, we just pulled out this real quick area here, uh, just for giggles. And, uh, we're gonna start hooking up some piping here shortly, so we can test out the hopper, etc, etc. So, <coughs> so what we need, we have some gold... Yeah, this, this it needs macerating though, I think. Okay. Well, what we need to do? I'll start smelting the the iron that we've got there. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and build the electric furnace. That's what we need to build. Do we have any I copper cable? Uh, I've got seven. Here, let me have them real quick. There you go. Thank you, sir. Bam. Um, I'm gonna plug this up. Just in the safe side. I don't want a creeper to drop down. Like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. So, all right. What we what we need to do here is um, we need to change the power flow down. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'll need to dig down a little to get below it, won't I? Yeah. Uh, so I'll take that off. Mm -hmm. And Now, on my screen he's removed it. As you can see, the power is now draining from this device here. And it just repowered it. So now we have, what we did was we took the dot and it's pointing straight down, which is feeding into the copper pipe which goes here and now is giving energy to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide power to some electric furnaces and we we'll also left open another one just to be on the safe side so we can add something else. Um, and as time progresses where this uh, generator here uh, we're not going to really need to use so we can actually keep a hold of our coal. But we can this we can still use the generator while we're creating getting energy from the sun. But when the sun's yeah. not up, the generator will still power up these units. So we're going to have a whole bunch of bat boxes. You know, the idea is, is to have a whole row of bat boxes in here that are all on top of each other, feeding in power. And it's, it's pretty amazing once you get to that point. We are going to need a ton of copper. A ton of copper? Yeah, so I'll put the copper in the macerator now. Okay. Because all these recipes seem much more difficult than the last time I played. <laughs> If you look at electric furnace, you need. Yep, we need two redstone. An iron furnace. Let's check this. Another electronic circuit. So that's red. Red refined red. And six wire. Gotcha. Electric furnace, iron. You get this. We have plenty. Did you already make the iron furnace? Uh, no, not okay. yet. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Okay, so the iron furnace is now created. I'm going to put it on our project table here. We'll use this main uh, project table here. I'm going to remove this stuff so that we, uh, we keep an eye on what we're doing. As you can see, that's what that is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to automatically place these two. And all we need here is the actual... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We need the electrical circuit. The electronic yeah, I'm doing circuit. that now. So we need some copper cables, redstone, refined iron, which are all over here, except we need one more refined iron. I've got all that. All right. When you have the materials, let's bring them over onto our project table here. Right. Get this going. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to create the pipe. I'm going to create some wooden pipes here real quick. Uh, glass. Glass yet? Yeah, there's 49 for you. Beautiful. Okay. Um, rubber. Have I got rubber? I have. So there's six wires. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four, red. Five, yeah. Refined red. There's the electronic circuit. So next is circuit, furnace, redstone, redstone, and there is an electric furnace. Beautiful. Alright, 
Alright, so now I'm making some stone right now. And I'm going to break it up so that way we can have two going off at the same time. Wow, the electric furnace is loads faster. Oh yeah. Yep, so it's doing in there. When we get some overclockers in there one day, they'll go a lot faster too. So do we want to pipe out of the macerator into this? Yep. We put a hopper on top of it, so we're going to need to build another hopper. So if you want to actually build the hopper on yours, it's time to show your viewers uh, what right. the hopper looks like. This will be the first hopper I've ever made. Not that bad. Central. Pretty quick. Um, so stone gear, which would be Make four sure. sticks for the wooden gear. Yep. Surrounded by four cobble for the stone gear. Uh, five iron and a chest. There's the chest. There's two chests. Oh. Chest that you just made. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I need two of them. Right. <laughs> oh. There we go. Perfect. Chest That's what I was making the chest for. I'm creating what you call just the, my my drop box. So, do we want this hopper on top of the furnace? Uh, electric furnace. Yeah, you have to hold shift and right click. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. So this is my little drop box. I'm gonna drop everything in here that I've got on me, so that way I have some room. I like to see what I'm doing here. There we go. So we can just fill the hopper with anything we want, and it will auto feed. That's right. So they have all cool. the the dust and everything. We just feed it feed it into that one now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the, um, need some redstone. There you go. Redstone torches. And, oh, there it is. Yeah, go ahead and make, some, make us some redstone torches. There's and four. we're also going to need redstone engines. Right, let's take a look. Redstone engine. Yep. Pistons. So that's cobble wood, iron, redstone. How many engines do you need? Uh, let's just try to build at least two. It's always good to have the backup. So wood across the top. Cobble. Iron, yeah, redstone, stone and bang. Done. Yes, it is. And then we need wooden gears. Okay, so there's our stone. Great. And then we'll grab cobblestone so we have a whole bunch of it. Pistons. Have you got a glass? Uh, I do have some glass, yes. I'm gonna throw some at me and while I'm in, in here with the recipe. Cool. Oh, I can just come off the table, can I? There you go. Yeah, I could have put it Do on the table for you. Table. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blah. Cool. So you've got the redstone engines now too. Now we've got uh, we've got our cobblestone transport pipes, stone pipes, and the wooden pipes. Uh, redstone engine, that's right. I'm gonna just switch that one over there for the time being. Uh, redstone we've already used. We've got the two engines, and the engines make the world go round. I thought that was money. Oh, yeah, that too. Um, Dog's best friend. Man's best friend. Dog. 
Right, so we've got 18 copper wires in the project table if we need them. Oh, there's a way of doing... Oh, wait, 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 I think I was right. There we go. Oh, what's this? Do we need wooden transport pipes? Uh, I've got them already. Alright, okay. Uh, what I could use right now is one golden transport pipe. Right, I'll see to that. I'm guessing that is gold, glass gold. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this. Um, I'm going to place this here for now so you get an idea. So you can see this one's the cobblestone. But this one is the stone transport pipe. Okay. And we're going to feed this one up. I gotta go back three, that's why I did it. Okay. Let's see where I'm going with this? Not yet. Um, actually, I need two golden pipes. Right, okay. So what are the, the the redstone engines for? Uh, the redstone engines is what's going to power this. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so what I need you to do, we need to actually uh, yeah, move. Do. We need to move the electric furnace. Because the wood pipes will be stuck together? Nope. nope. It won't be the wood pipes. It'll be the gold pipes. Right, of course. Yeah. Yep, so... Go ahead and take it apart real carefully. <laughs> <laughs> the and hopper I'm, I can just pick up, is that right? Yes, hopper you can pick right up. I'm moving the... Oh, I feel like a noob right now. <laughs> Sorry for the language. I did it. It was looking so beautiful. Uh, since that one's bouncing, I'll just let it drop. There we go. Alright, so it should be right here. Oh, so do the gold pipes work the same as the wooden pipe? No, gold pipe speeds it up. So how is it going to come out of there in the first place? Don't you need a wooden pipe to extract them? Yes, 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 you're absolutely right. I'm thinking too hard right now. There we go. Th this is our resident expert on uh, Feed the Beast here. Right? Well, I haven't <laughs> played it for so long, but, but you get the I idea. mean, this is it. I know all the basic stuff, but beyond this... I haven't got a clue. There we go. That looks more like it. Alright, so then the next one. Yeah, this one might be a little bit longer of a episode, but you get the idea. Okay. You go ahead and place down the electric furnace right there. I'm just going to turn that engine round, because that looks a little bit... Oh, I can't. Right. Is that a different wrench again? Oh, there we go. Yeah. What, what, what was you asking me to do then? Oh, uh, I need you to put down the electric furnace right here. Well, if I had the electric furnace, I'd put it down for you. Oh, I have it. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Didn't even see I had it. You gave it to me. I think you just picked it up when it fell down. Yeah, probably. Okay, as you can see, these little things are coming through right now, dropping. 
so since this is the cobblestone one, So the cobblestone and the stone pipes don't attach to each other. That's right. So you can lay them next to each other. Yep. So I wonder. Oh, uh, this the 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 gold ones. Once they're touched by the redstone, make them go faster. Right. Okay. So now. Stone. Got it. See what I mean when you need a lot of space to yeah. um, to do this. I'm trying to see if I can get it to connect. So there we then go into where did that go? Get this to go into a chest after this. Yeah. Go ahead and place a chest right here. So can get the chest. Yeah. I need some. Okay. Way to get up here. Alright, so right now, how it sits is we put items into this, we put them into the hopper, they come up here and into this machine. Once they hit the hopper, they're going to go right through. I think it goes instantly into here. And then when it's done, it spits it out back here into this one. This shoots up and then into the chest. Well, right now it's going really slow, but if we add more gold pipes to it with redstone, you're going to see how fast it goes. So let me, let me make it faster. So this one is here. Yep. So we probably want another chest at this side to dump all our ore into to save us going back and forth. There it goes. So when you get a plenty, plenty of gold, then you can definitely make these things like super fast. There we go. So now these things are going to start flying, making the stuff for us. See that other one just passed right by it. So moment it's done. Now on these machines here, if you put overclockers, these will make these hella quick. But the thing with it is, is that by making them quicker also drains the battery from here, which we're just now running out. Right. Oh, we need coal. There we go. Yep, I got some. Oh, you got it? Okay. Perfect. So now this is getting energy, but remember it's also pulling energy. This would probably go a lot faster. So now you can see this rig working. So we can mix and match ores now and not worry about having to That's right. take them out, we'll just, just just run straight through. So what we what we basically did here is we built a, an entire machine process that um, you can put in what you want, it creates it, and when you put it up, ah, uh, that thing, get out of my way. So with this individual device here, the hopper, you put it in here, it feeds into the macerator. The macerator makes two of them, so now you're getting two for the one block. Once it's done, you'll see one, two, okay? And then they're shooting out through the back here now. There's the one and there's the two. Once it hits the gold pipes, it's going straight up into our cobblestone pipe right into this hopper. This hopper here then feeds it into this machine, and this machine makes the ore. Now the ore gets pushed out here with the wooden one, and these golden pipes are powered by the redstone, now keep in mind. And we use stone on this one just in case our pipes, like right here, got close. If we didn't use, if we used the same one, they would have connected to each other. So that one feeds in, and then this one feeds right into our box. And literally, you can make this pipe go all the way into your roof. You could hide the pipe. You could have it come into here. If we wanted to, we could bring this chest here, all the stuff that's in this chest, to automatically feed up and into the macerator. Yeah. So anything, like say for example, we're doing all of our work in here. We could just place it in this chest, and the pipes would bring it all the way over to here and into the macerator to start production. And as we get more and more into this, uh, there's other blocks. I believe it's the diamond one. The diamond one, you can set up specific paths. It goes uh, six or uh, six different routes. 
So you can say, okay, I want these ores to go this direction. I want this to go this direction to recycle. I want this one to go this way. And you can have this whole intricate of piping throughout your entire house. And generally what I do, I just, I hide all of the, the pipes and everything so you can't see it. But I always make a door so I can always walk back here to make sure all my equipment's moving. So, and the range is stopped, by the way. So as you can see, this is this is an entire build that we did this episode. This was our episode 10. Uh, we got a fully functional working macerator along with our electric furnace. We built a piping system that uh, is all automated now. All we have to do is just drop it into the hopper. We have our generator, which is being powered by coal currently that's feeding into our bat box, which is giving us power to power these machines using the copper cable. And, and all said and done, now we don't have to use the furnaces over there with coal and they all get deposited right in here for us. So, again, my name is Mike, I'm from The Gamer Show, and I'm also with... Another old gamer. And there he is. And please join us again next time for part 11, where we're going to get a lot more in-depth. We're just going to just play Feed the Beast as much as possible. And uh, please, uh, share our videos, like our videos, and also subscribe to us. Uh, we look forward to bringing you a lot of content, and thank you for tuning in for part 10 and making it this far. Uh, we hope you're having an enjoyable experience. Is there anything you want to add, old game, uh, another old gamer? Uh, no, only that we're going to need a hell of a lot of diamonds. And this doesn't help us with that. I've still got to go digging. Yeah. <laughs> I wish this. I wish it was like Tiaria or like... Uh, Starbound, where like you could just log on to our server and stuff, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get through it. Yeah, we're gonna get through it. All right, guys. We'll see you later in Video Land. We'll see you next time on Part Eleven. Thank you. Yep. See you next time.